Google just dropped their new AI Nano Banana tool, and it has completely revolutionized the graphic design industry. You can use it to make incredible graphics like what you're seeing on screen completely with AI. I have a presentation coming up, so I put it to the test and found that it's just as good at creating hyper-realistic images as it is at making amazing presentations. So in this video, I'll show you what I learned and walk you through how to make amazing presentations using Nano Banana. Okay, so we're here on Gemini, and you can see this prompt that says try image editing with our best image model nano banana so let's say we want to make a tokyo travel guide presentation i typed out this prompt in advance and let's see where that goes 16 by 9 aspect ratio all right that took about 10 15 seconds look at this this is gorgeous uh, let's see what else we can do let's try the second slide in the presentation so i just mentioned the title of the slide and i'm asking it to include the content all right this is looking great. It looks great, but you can see it's not exactly perfect. You can see some typos right here. So traditions meet a future purseful temples. Uh, yeah, looks great. Content needs work. And let's try one more slide. This one's a trip overview slide. And yep, this is looking pretty neat. Now the thing is, when we download this, we can see the resolution isn't that great. So as we can see here, Nano Banana on its own is great for creating striking images, and it already gives you a near finished layout. But the content and text need work. If you want a polished presentation that you'd actually use, you'd want to be able to edit the text on the fly. So for a more dedicated presentation tool, I like to use a tool called PictoChart. PictoChart's great because it helps with any type of visual content, but it also specializes in presentations. It actually already has Nano Banana integrated inside, which I'll show in just a bit. So let's continue with the Tokyo Guide idea from earlier. For the presentation type, I've selected creative idea. So let's say seven days in Tokyo, the ultimate itinerary. Create a travel guide presentation. So the prompt is actually pretty simple, but check out the results. And right now, PictoChart is applying that prompt across PictoChart's asset library. So it's actually a more efficient process because you don't have to regenerate outputs every single time. And while it's loading the content, you can actually already scan and choose a strong base for your slide. And as you can see here with very minimal prompting, it's already showing us day one to day seven. Introduction, welcome to Tokyo. Get ready for an amazing seven day adventure. This looks pretty legit. See, it says here, day one, Shinjuku exploration. Shinjuku offers a blend of modern skyscrapers, tranquil gardens, and delicious food. And here it talks about a national garden, and we actually see a garden. Talks about alleys, these look like alleys, and it talks about panoramic views of Tokyo, and we can see that right here. Culture in Asakusa. Here it says Sensoji Temple, and after a quick Google search, this kind of looks like the temple. I could be wrong, though. I haven't been there. But overall, the slides are looking polished and practically finished. If someone showed me this travel guide, I might actually decide to fly to Tokyo. <laughs> All right, so this PictoChart presentation is looking great as it is, but just because we can, let's use Nano Banana. So let's take a look at this cup of matcha, click this, and then select Image Modifier. And uh, let's say convert the cup of green tea to a frothy mug of matcha and let's see what that does. Wow, just like that. You got froth right here. I like that. We are using that. PictoChart has a couple of other useful features like this image upscaler. Remember this image from Nano Banana that lacks resolution and sharpness? Well, we can upload that to the image upscaler. You can see right here that the text is pixelated and the lines are kind of blurry. So let's select 6x, upscale image. Let PictoChart do its thing. And here we go. That that is much sharper. So of course, if we wanted to, we can add that slide to the presentation. Of course, you can tweak this further so that the fonts match. Let's just say you wanted to, you can select this image and select background remover. Click remove background. And there you have it, the background's been removed. And here I added an image that we got from Nano Banana earlier. And by the way, PictoChart also has a stock photo library, icons, illustrations, 3D images. So you can use these and and modify them with AI. Let's just say we're happy with our presentation. We click download. We can select PNG, PDF, PowerPoint. In this case, we'll select PowerPoint and 
That's it. So Nano Banana is great for creating images with AI, but not quite complete slides. And PictoChart lets you create ready to use and formatable AI powered presentations. And with Nano Banana already inside of PictoChart, you can create some truly stunning presentations. Now, Nano Banana isn't the only AI tool that you can use for this. Recently, OpenAI came out with their ChatGPT 5 model, and you can use it to make some pretty great looking presentations like McKinsey, as in the consulting company. So click right here and you can check out the next video where we not only walk you through the full process of using ChatGPT5 to make yourself a presentation, but also show you how McKinsey actually makes their presentations so amazing so you can steal their process and make your own presentations as good as they possibly can be. See you over there.